we invite you to watch the video on the Aquaculture Farm channel. I have been using cast nets for catching bait for over 30 years now and they're a quick and easy way to fill your live bait tank with levies. Shallow habitats such as beaches and behind mangroves for live baits such as potting mullet, whiting and garfish are perfect for a bottom pocket cast net. However there are two other cast nets I also use on occasion. I use a drawstring cast net for deeper locations around structure for species like herring. In this video we examine the three main types of cast net for catching live bait and their different applications. We look at depth of water, mesh size, cast net size and the kinds of live bait to target. The ability to throw a cast net properly is obviously very important. There are several different methods to do so. None is really better than the other, it is just a matter of personal preference. There are many different cast nets. However, the differences fall into three main categories, diameter or length, mesh size, and amount of weight per foot. While this may seem confusing, it really is not. Basically, nets with less weight and smaller mesh size will sink slower and are best suited for catching smaller bait fish in shallow water. The length of the cast net is quite important. Obviously, the larger the net or the longer the diameter, the larger their circumference. This means that when properly thrown, a larger net will cover a larger area and therefore catch more bait. However, larger nets are heavy and cumbersome and more difficult to throw in empty. 8 is a good all around that size for both novice and experienced anglers throwing a cast net. An 8 foot net is small enough that a beginner can learn to cast that well while being large enough to efficiently catch plenty of bait. Cast nets are available as short as 4 feet long. These are okay for kids, but really won't catch enough bait for serious anglers. Conversely, seasoned pros will throw cast nets up to 12 feet in diameter. A cast net with mesh that is too small will have no real ill effects on the angler, other than the fact that it sinks a bit slower. It is better to have a mesh size a little too small than a little too large. Once an angler has purchased his or her net and learned to throw it, it is time to go out and catch some bait. There are a number of productive areas to catch bait, depending on the geography. Oftentimes, bait fish can be caught right off the beach or shoreline. Grass flats are prime spots as well. Huge schools of bait will hold under bridges. Pegou, pô. 
Com essa aí tu desce em cima dela. Ah, pegou não, rapaz. Ele adora é mesmo. Ali eu digo que pode ter pegado assim, não. Tem menor com dois.